What is up my Pika crew? I'm gonna be bringing you a 5th generation never used tier match. You guys know the drill. I uh, really love the NU tier so I'm posting a lot of NU battles and I hope you guys enjoy. So this one is against MNB Chara. His link will be in the description below. Very very straightforward match. Um, looking at the teams, we both pretty much brought 6 random Pokemon. Um, his team has pretty much 2 defensive Pokemon and 4 sweepers. I have 1 defensive Pokemon, 5 sweepers, and my wall is Probopass, and I am going to lead with it. Um, it's not even invested in defense, it's invested in special attack and speed, so it still is pretty offensive anyways. But uh, now he goes for fake out, U-turn combination, that's not going to do much. Um, I'm going to go for the flash cannon, anticipating him to have to go for the taunt. He predicts that well, goes into Quagsire to resist the hit. Pretty good move on his part. Um, knowing that he's going to go for an attacking move, probably Earthquake, I can resist both of his water or ground type move with Altaria and fire back with a Life Orb Draco Meteor. And look how much damage this does. I hit him, bam, uh, his HP goes down, 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 and he lives with a sliver of health. But I was really happy that my Altaria did that much damage against a Quagsire. That is a lot of damage. And, uh, very, very proud of uh, my Altaria, but for now, um, I'm going to go for the Haze because if he goes for the Recover, I can get myself back to neutral, take him down the next turn, and if he switches, it works as well. But he brings in this Cradilly, and I don't want to take a Rock Slide or Stone Edge just yet. I want to keep my Altaria there as, uh, for later, and I'm going to bring in my Embor, and he doesn't really have a counter against uh, this Firefighting Beast because Super Power uh, hits neutral against his whole team. And yeah, Superpower takes out this Dodrio that he leaves as Death Fodder. Um, Dodrio is a very dangerous threat um, because it has high speed, high attack, choice banded, Brave Bird deals a lot of damage. But uh, here he brings in the Persian again. Um, fake out U-turn combination is pretty obvious, so this time I'm going to predict it. I do have that Volt Switch, so I'm going to use it this time, and uh, he's going to bring in his Cacturn. So uh, again, since he doesn't have a good Embor counter, I can bring in my Embor again, and go for the Super Power to take down another Pokemon. So um, yeah, he actually this time decides to fodder out his uh, Cradilly, and uh, that's pretty good. Um, the two main threats I see are, are Persian and uh, Cacturn, so um, yeah. Actually, he doesn't fodder out his Cradilly, he actually just leaves his Quagsire here as Death Fodder. Again, um, he brings in, uh, what is that, Electros? I'm gonna go for the Fire Blast because I'm a mix set, uh, mostly invested in special attack. I do get a critical hit, which is very lucky on my part. Um, I get to take down that Electros in one hit, but uh, stupidly, I do stay in against the Fake Out. Uh, that was pretty bad because um, uh, I should have just went into my Probo Pass. Should have went done my uh, uh, Volt Switch combination. Uh, should have went for the Volt Switch here, but uh, I didn't do that. And he brings in uh, what is that Cacturn? And uh, oh, I believe I just go for the Flash Cannon just to deal some damage. Um, that's not a 2-8 KO against this Cacturn, surprisingly, so I'm pretty sure um, he is invested in HP and attack. Um, this, speed, this Seed Bomb does a lot of damage. Um, it nearly takes me out, and uh, that's pretty bad. Um, and he is going to take me out with Sucker Punch as well. Um, I should have predicted that. Um, I knew he's going to do it anyways. I just guess I left my Probo Pass there as Death Fodder um, anyways because... Uh, I don't know what I why what I was thinking. Um, here I win my Ludicolo. I'm gonna take a Sucker Punch, not well, and then pull off an Ice Beam. And he does have that uh, Persian left. And I look at my team here, and I realize Persian can outspeed my team, and the rest of my team is uh, pretty much under half health, and uh, except for my Choice Scarf Hunter. So I'm gonna bring it in now against a Fake Out. He predicts that like a monster. He's gonna take down my only Pokemon that can potentially outspeed. Uh, that Persian and the rest is uh, yeah I have Cryogon all too but uh, no defense he can have speed he takes me out and the rest of my Pokemon are under half so yeah that was very bad um, should have kept my uh, probe pass at higher health uh, played pretty reckless because uh, I guess I thought that my team would be able to handle his team since I did have the better team matchup and uh, yeah because of that he is gonna sweep take down five Pokemon with Persian and that is going to be the game so from a 6-0 I believe from a 
2 to a 0 2 very quickly. So if you guys enjoyed this match, feel free to leave a like. And if you really, really like this match, feel free to leave a comment in the favorite. And if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to join the Pika crew by subscribing. So this is the Pika Woo. Stay tuned for the comment question of the day. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Peace.